We are back here with some Detroit Lions franchise, and this is probably the most important game of the entire season. Maybe the most important game of the franchise here so far. Week 14, we are 7-5, and five, and we have a chance here to really take hold of this division. The Packers have lost four in a row. They have dropped to 6-6. Six and six. They've completely fallen off the cliff. I can't believe it's happened. We are obviously have the tiebreaker over Minnesota. We've beaten them twice. Green Bay, we haven't even beat in this series yet. We're 0-3, so this is a huge game. As you can see right now, we have the four seed. We would have a home game, win the division, would be absolutely unbelievable. I did not expect this to happen this year. I thought Green Bay would take over the division, but I thought we would compete for one of those wild card spots. But right now, the way everything is playing out, we have a chance here to really cement, even though still we'll have four weeks left after this, really cement that division with a victory over the Packers and really almost have a one and a half to two game lead. Now, they're saying this is a trap game, which is absolutely not correct in any sense. This isn't a trap game at all. No division game, in my opinion, is a trap game. It's going to be hard regardless. The division teams know who you are. So, especially a favorite like Green Bay, which going to this game, they probably would be favored. I don't see how we would even be favored at all. There probably wouldn't be that many people to think, you know, Green Bay would lose this game. As you can see, we made a move, brought back Michael Brockers, obviously formerly on this Lions team, but with the defensive line depth, we don't really have too much. And with Travis Jones out, that really hurts us a lot. So we bring back Brockers. Hopefully he can fill in. Hopefully he can fill in fast. It should be good to go. And that'll help us, especially trying to get pressure on Aaron Rodgers. Something that we're going to have to do in this game. We've had so much trouble with him in the past. I mean, we're not the only team. He's dominated so many teams. So we're going to have to do everything we can here to beat this Green Bay team. Uh, as for the defensive game plan, maybe the short pass. You can see the rating they have right now over 100 going more with a short game. So we'll try to start the, you know, stop that short run. You can see they pass 66% of the time. So even with Aaron Jones back there, they're looking more, you know, at passing the ball. Now sacks, they are number four. So their front four, Rayshon Gary, they are so good. And maybe we throw it deep or do we do maybe the run inside, try to get the running game going and then play action off that. Yeah, it's, uh, let's do that. We'll run inside and hopefully uh, deter that pass rush of this Green Bay team. See, make sure if we go in uh, healthy, nobody's going to be hurt or anything. Let's take a look here. Let's see, offensively, it looks like we are good because we're going to need everybody. We're going to need everybody for this game. There's no doubt about it. So we haven't beat Green Bay yet in this series, so I mean, we're going to try to beat them here. This is huge. Biggest game of the season. This could be the scene that come playoffs right here. You know, us running out, having a home game. And it could be all because of this one right here. So let's get this one going. Week 14, and we will receive the ball first. And let me, I will tell you right now, this game is pre patch. I have played a couple more games uh, after it. So the next couple games you will see as well are pre patch as well. So don't. Look at this gameplay thinking this is post-patch. It is not. So uh, just letting you know that right now. Second and seven. Bray back the throw. Firing. Tries to find Hawkinson as that is going to fall incomplete. And just like that, it's quick third down. Third and seven. Bray to throw. Looking. Firing. He puts that one in there. Jamison Williams has the grab. Catch first down. Nice job. Hanging on to that one. This is what it's going to be. You're going to have to make those tough plays in this game because this Packers defense is very good. And on second and eight, we'll find TJ Hawkinson for the catch. He's breaking some tackles. And Hawkinson gets his way up to the 34-yard line. As Hawk has really had maybe not the greatest season, he's definitely disappeared in games. It's another reason why I'm not sure if I want to bring him back or not. That is still undecided. But, you know, love to get him going. I mean, he's a fantastic talent at tight end. Second and five. Bray rolling out, looking down the field. Has a man wide open, and he misses him. 
Calvin Ridley was there. And he misses him. And now brings up a third and five. Bray looking. Flag on the play. Underneath caught. Williams with the catch. Probably going to be a holding call. I would think so. Yep. Bray didn't go down. So I wasn't expecting to roughly the passer the way the flag was thrown. And that is going to be a hold. So take away the first down. and brings up a third and 15. Down the seam. And this one's going to be picked off. Just thrown too late. Darnell Savage is there, picks it off, and now Green Bay will take over the ball here at the 42-yard line. Yeah, he's open. If you maybe throw it to his right shoulder, maybe you get that in there. It just has to be thrown a little bit sooner. It is not. It's picked off, and we get nothing out of it. And so here comes Aaron Rodgers, 31 touchdowns, 12 picks on the season. Maybe a little high usually for him. He's usually definitely under 10. First and 10. And he'll dump this off to Jones, who breaks the tackle. And he is going to be just short of a first down. But really, it should have been nothing. Third and one. That quick fire from Rodgers. Outside. And oh, broken tackle. One man and Akuda will bring him down at the 19. Preston Williams makes the great play. And now, just like that, Green Bay down to the 19. Rodgers fires quickly. Caught. And that's down to the 12. Single back is Jones. Let's see what they do here. As Williams comes in motion, they'll hand him the ball. Gets around the edge, depending on the spot there. Not sure if he got the first. And they give it to him. So now second and goal from the four. Jones up the middle. Ball is loose. And we're going to pick it up. Big time play. Devin Bush will recover. I'm not actually sure who calls the, the uh, fumble. Let's see who this is. Rodriguez holds him up. I could not tell from that angle. But Devin Bush. Oh, it's Deshaun Elliott. You can see him come in. Swipes at the ball. And Aaron Jones with a huge turnover at the four. So nothing for Green Bay as our defense comes through when we need it. And now a third and four. From the eight, we're going to set up a screen. This is kind of a dangerous play and just knocked away. Thought we, I thought Green Bay would come with the blitz. And maybe catch him off guard, but it was a really good play call from Green Bay. And now, great field position on second and ten over the middle. That's going to be caught, and that's going to be first down. Already in field goal range. First and ten. Jones with the carry. Uh, picks up around six. He's down to the 19. Is Malcolm Rodriguez holding, looks like, his shoulder. That's not what you want to see. Man, the defense is getting destroyed by uh, injuries this year. Second and five. Down the seam. Over the middle of the field, down to the one is Watson. And now first and goal for Green Bay, trying to put this one in. Jones trying to get some redemption from the fumble, and he will. Goes in for the touchdown easily. And the Packers get on the board first here, 7-0. It's a dislocated shoulder for Rodriguez, and he is done for the game. So that means Quan Alexander, Barnes are going to have to step up here. First and 10. And the pressure's right there. Lost a 10 sack all the way back to the 15-yard line. And now brings up a third and 20. Now we got the camera shake here. That's not what you want to see. Is Bray just trying to get whatever he can. And he only gets four. And just like that, it's a quick three and out. You just got to make sure. Oh, this one's picked off by Hughes. Defense makes another fantastic play. But that's what I was going to say. With the pressure, you just got to hope it doesn't get into your head. You know, you maybe that internal clock runs a little bit faster and you just get rid of the ball a little bit too sooner. You try to scramble a little bit too much. Is now Barnes is out for the game. Are you kidding me? Man, we got no I mean, our, our linebacker depth has just gone from, you know, small to nothing at, at, with these injuries. As I'm in St. Brown with the catch, and that's a first down up to the 45 yard line. So that's now going to be a deficiency for this game. Second and 10. Hand off to Swift. Breaks one tackle. Picks up about four. It's been a rough start for him so far in this game. As we head into the second quarter. Third and six. Firing. And this one's going to be picked off. Man. Thought we made a nice throw to Amon Ross St. Brown. But just undercut perfectly and picked off. This Packers defense makes a play. Oh, maybe it was actually. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was a, good, a pretty good throw, but no. You can see that Amon Ross St. Brown had to slow down a little bit 
So not a good throw. Rasul Douglas is there for the pick as this one's almost picked off. But falls incomplete. Making a lot of mistakes in this game so far. Third and four. Rodgers. Fires. Caught. First down. And that'll be up to the 48-yard line. So even when we pick off Aaron Rodgers, we just can't take advantage of it. Empty set. Quick throw over the middle. Tanya up to the 37-yard line, and this Packers team driving once again. Third and one. Single, you know, that's actually I form to Jones, and he breaks through. Great blocking up front. First down, and we're down to the 19-yard line. That might be your problem with your linebackers. You know, even if you, you know, the defensive line makes a great play, and it's not a great play there. Blown coverage, easy touchdown, Green Bay. And they will take right now the 14-0 lead. We got to wake up. We got to wake up. We got to play like we've been playing. You know, we've had troubles with this Green Bay team in the past. We can't let this get in our head. Let's go. Third and four. Got to pick up this first. Bray back to throw. Watch out, pressure coming, nobody open down the field, and he is going to be brought down for a sack. Man. He just can't get anything going. As Aaron Jones just throws off Quan Alexander and Deshaun, I was at, actually I think I was Devin Bush, just throws off both linebackers and picks up the first. That's not what we want to see at all. Second and nine, wide open receiver. And that's going to be caught first down over the 40-yard line. We're in a bit of trouble right now. <laughs> We're a bit of trouble. Green Bay's driving it, trying to go up three scores. We haven't got really anything offensively. You know, obviously with the zero points. As Jones is just breaking tackles. That's about the least thing we want to see. You want to make this team at least one-dimensional. I know it's Rodgers, and he can just destroy it no matter what. But if this is the run game that I got going... Uh, we're going to have a long day. He easily goes in. Touchdown, Packers. It's 21-0. So the biggest game, like I said, of this franchise so far has been an absolute dud at the moment. 21-0 Green Bay. Four minutes left in this half, and this is the biggest drive. We have to put up some points, try to get something back, and that's a good start. Swift with the carry. He picks up 13 yards up to the 48-yard line. Yeah, we got to pick up some points here. Second and 10. Bray down the seam quickly to Hawkinson. Catch first down. That's what we want to see. Get those quick throws out. Find your receiver. Just there. If you got to do that, that is fine. Dump it down to Swift, who makes a nice little move. Picks up a few extra yards up to the 18 as we hit the two-minute warning. So we're down to the 12. Second and four. Swift with the carry. And he should have a first. Actually, they don't give him the spot. So third and inches. We'll bring Jamal Williams in. He'll carry this one up the middle. He'll have enough for the first down down to the six. And we're running this clock down, too. We don't want Rodgers to get that ball back. And, you know, he, he doesn't need much time. We know that. First and goal. Bray over the middle. Got DeAndre Swift. Touchdown. That was a huge drive. Building confidence. Just get this back to a two-score game. Great protection that time. You know, calm down. Going to halftime. Going to the locker room. We're still in this game. Just make some adjustments here or there. And let's do this. That's what we want to see. 21-7 going into halftime. Um, that, that, that definitely just turns it a little bit. You know, if we would have won at 21-0, couldn't have scored there. Uh, we'd be even more down, but that's a great job ending the half. So let's go around the league here at halftime. Indy, Kansas City, big AFC matchup. I'm telling you, so many teams are 6-6, six 7-5. and six, seven and five. It's crazy. The divisions, the playoffs are absolutely insane this season because all these teams are kind of hovering around 500. Everybody's just beating each other up. You can see the Giants and Eagles both 6-6. Six and six. So that is a huge game there for that division. So this is uh, big for this division. We're kind of the same, 7-5, and 6-6. Six and six. As every game's going to matter, and I'm not sure what just happened there. What happened? Akuda just didn't even react. 
And that momentum we just had going in here is now just like that gone. First and ten. Rodgers, and that's what we want to see. Terrence Goodridge with the sack. Obviously, Hutchinson, he'll be out just this last week, so he'll be back next week. But that's what we want to see from Goodridge and hopefully Pierre Paul. Maybe a Lee McNeil. Some of these guys. And there's Pierre Paul coming through as I just said his name. Picks up the sack. And we hold Green Bay to a field goal. But still, down 17. We need points. Swift picks up around six. And we got now third and four. Let's see if they just rush four or bring pressure. They're just going to rush four. Gray over the middle. Wide open. Ridley. Catch. First down. Yeah, when they bring four, you know, we have to see the protection hold up. You know, they, we can't see pressure on four, and that's just going to be impossible because they'll just drop seven in coverage, and then what are you supposed to do? Not a whole lot. Third and five. Because of Panay Sewell's superstar ability, we can see that blitz coming over to the side. So we're going to roll over this way, but there's nobody here. Bray's going to take it, and he is going to be stuffed. Question is now, do we go for it here at the 39? And we are. So fourth and two. Just a four-man. Bray over the middle. Caught! Williams has got it. Big first down of the 29-yard line. Chains move and the drive continues and here comes the blitz from green bay but we have a guy over the middle williams open he's got the catch just short of the first down yeah they're coming out with an all-out blitz now we're gonna go to gabenda and he is going to be stuffed we tried the fullback dive but kenny clark is there and now a big fourth down and one jamal williams is there but we're gonna sneak it with bray gets through first down down to the 18. Touchdown would be huge here. Play action. Bray looking. Watch out. No pressure. Oh, man. That's a terrible sack. Just got to throw that away. That's not good. Now you got a third and 25. Man. That's a disaster. As Bray looking. And that's not even close for Ridley. So now it sets up a 50-yard field goal for Hopkins. Kick is going to be up. It is good. At least we had the wind going with us. But still, that sack just killed the drive. Back to a 14-point game, 24-10. Gee, now the defense is going to have to step up, and that's a good start as Goodrich makes a nice run stop there in Aaron Jones. But third down and 12, we can't let Rodgers beat us. We can't. Let's see if we can get it over the middle, and it's it's caught. Back shoulder throw, perfectly to Tunyon. Quan Alexander just did not see it coming. I don't even think he was looking at the ball. At looking at it. he wasn't. He did not know what was going on there. As Green Bay picks up a big third down, second and four, easy pitch and catch there, real quick, caught. Wow, what was that spot? He definitely had the first. They did not give him four progression. That was crazy. They only gave him one yard. Third and three. They're going to run with Jones. And Jones is going to pick it up. Plays like that are frustrating. You should be able to make a run stop like that. And we just can't. So Green Bay's drive keeps going. First and ten. Rodgers fires to the outside. That's caught. And that's another first down up to the 38. Man, right now, we just cannot stop this Green Bay offense. As they set up a screen to Jones. And not this time! Antonio McDougal, the rookie, is there to stop that one. As we head into the fourth quarter. Third and 18. We have to get a stop here. I would love to just not let him get anything so they don't kick a field goal. As Rodgers fires this underneath, caught Williams... So that probably will put them in the field goal range. It'll be about a 52-53 yarder. And I think they actually have the wind going with them. So that's no good. Kick is up. And it is going to be no good. I thought it was going to curve. It's no good. So this is our chance here. Get back in this game. And that's a great start. Amon Ross St. Brown for the catch. And he gets it up to the 37-yard line. We can go down here. Get a touchdown. Get this back to a touchdown lead. 
Put some pressure on this Green Bay team. But that doesn't help. Not at all. Sack knocks us back to the 45. Third and 18. Down the seam he had, Williams. And Bray misses him. Fourth and 18. This is probably a bad decision as we try to hit Williams. It's no, nah, it doesn't work. Adrian Amos is there. Probably should have just punted the ball away. But now Green Bay is great field position. Aaron Jones with a good run. Just cuts it back. Nobody is there. First down up to the 37-yard line. And there are, they're, they're in field goal range. Sets up a screen, but Devin Bush! Oh, I mean, our defense is trying. Our defense is trying everything. Picks it off off the screen pass. You know, with nine minutes left in the game, we still have a chance here. Offense just has to be better, and that is no good. Instant up the middle. Nobody blocked them. Nobody. And that's a sack. Third and 20. Here comes the pressure. Over the middle. Caught. St. Brown. Just short of the first. But good pickup. Fourth and two. Bray. Looking. And it's caught by Ridley somehow. That throw was no good. But nice adjustment where Ridley picks up the first. First and ten. Swift. Got it. Catch. And he's up to the 38-yard line. Six and a half minutes left in this game. We got to get a quick score because you never know with Rodgers. He might just go down to the field and keep the ball the rest of the time. Ball is loose. Oh, man. Decker picks it up. But the pressure again. Man, how many sacks do they have in this game? Third and 18. Field goal just does us no good. We got to pick up first downs here and get touchdowns. Going down the field. Luckily, that just wasn't picked off. And now brings up a fourth and 18. Bray, look out. Oh, man. Pressure was instantly there. So now Green Bay... Looking pretty good as that's going to make it even better as that's a first down up to the 36-yard line. Injury will stop the clock. So maybe that could help us out. But right now, you know, two-score lead. You're in field goal range. Get another first down there on third and one. It's not looking good here. Second and nine. Hand this one to Jones. He'll be stopped. And we got two timeouts left. So we'll just call a timeout after this third and nine if we get the stop. And we do. So we'll call a timeout there. Green Bay will kick a field goal. Take this up to a 27-10 lead. So obviously down three scores with less than a minute left. You know, just trying to get something here and then maybe force on a one side kick. Second and ten. Bray to throw. Looking, just fires it, gets hit, and this one's going to be picked off, and this will end the game. Ugh. Not a good one. Not a good one at all. 27-10, Packers will beat us. We just can't seem to beat this team. Can't. They just have our number. They really do. Kirk Bray, probably the worst game of his uh First season here, 17 and 35, three picks, the one touchdown. I mean, he was under a lot of pressure, and maybe that pick there at the end, not really his fault, but a lot of throws were just off. He had troubles. This is one of those games where he he definitely looked like a rookie for sure. Penesol lets up three sacks. You know, one of the our best linemen on the team and just gets absolutely destroyed. Defense, I thought the defense really played as good as you can. I thought Green Bay was going to easily put up, you know, maybe 30 points. But our defense played well, kept us in the ball game, got turnovers when we needed it to. But it doesn't really matter when your offense doesn't do a whole lot. What, they have eight sacks? I think they had eight sacks. Aaron Jones had over 100 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, it's like not, it's not like Rodgers really did much in this game. It's just their defense just absolutely destroyed us. Yeah, six and nine on third down. We were three of fourteen. <laughs> yeah, not not a good game. That was a poor performance. 
and we'll drop to seven and six and now we're gonna get something for this because somehow they call this a trap game i have no idea we are better than that i think we i i, I agree but oh frustration abound in the locker room after falling victim to a trap game i don't think it's a trap game we're still in the playoffs i mean we dropped to the five seed we play green bay that would be interesting to play them in the wild card try to you know get that monkey off your back pretty much to beat green bay but we're not in the division lead now we got four weeks left we'll take on the chargers coming up here hutchinson pascal are back so that is huge um we're gonna need a pass rush here against justin herbert and this offense because you know they can absolutely sling it try to s slow down austin eckler they're five and eight but they have so much talent on this team so we can't underestimate this Chargers team whatsoever. We're going to have to bounce back and get a victory. But that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for the, all the support. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Uh, I can't thank you anymore. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Just keep hitting that like button. Subscribe for more franchise content. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.